find the shortest and longest distances from the point 1 to minus 1 to x square plus y square plus z square equal to 24. We know from the distance formula d is equal to x2 minus x1 uh, whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square plus z2 minus z1 whole square. And here we have taken one given one coordinate 1 to minus 1. So distance formula can be written as this. So d square will be equal to x square minus 2x plus 1 and for y minus 2 whole square y square plus 4 minus 4y and for z plus 1 square that is equal to z square plus 2z plus 1. So this will be equal to x square plus y square plus z square minus 2x minus 4y plus 2z plus 6. This is the given function and uh, the distance formula and uh, we have to find out uh, what is the minimum and maximum distance from this sphere. This is the equation of this sphere and we will calculate the uh, shortest and longest distance by using Lagrange multiplier. As we know from Lagrange multiplier equation any function can be written in this form f x y z plus lambda phi x y z. Here this function is the objective function and here the objective function is this function. So the objective function plus lambda that is the Lagrange multiplier and this is the constraint or condition. So the constraint equation is given x square plus y square plus z square is equal to 24. So here we write x square plus y square plus z square. Uh, minus 24. Now we will solve this uh, constraint maximization uh, or constraint optimization using Lagrange multiplier and the step is we have to find out the partial derivative of this function with respect to x then partial derivative with respect to y then partial derivative with respect to z to 0 then we will solve for x, y and z. After solving the value of x, y and z, we put the values here, then you can find out the two distances that is short, shortest distance and longest distance. So if you take the partial derivative of f with respect to x to 0, then the partial derivative of this equation with x will be equal to 2x minus 2 plus 2 lambda x equal to 0 and the partial derivative with respect to y will be equal to 2y minus 4 plus 2 lambda y will be equal to 0 and the partial derivative with respect to z for this equation will be equal to 2z plus 2 plus 2 lambda z is equal to 0. Suppose this is equation 1, this is equation 2 and this is equation 3. Now we will solve this equation 1 and 2. Uh, we multiply uh, 2 in equation 1 so it will be equal to 4x minus 4 plus 4 lambda x will be equal to 0 and uh, equation this is your equation 2 and we subtract the equation 2 from equation 1. If you take the subtraction then 4 will cancels then 2 into 2x minus y plus 2 lambda taking common 2x minus y will be equal to 0. So we have if you take 2x minus y common then this will be equal to 2 plus 2 lambda uh, into 2x minus y will be equal to 0. If 2x minus y will be equal to 0 then you can find out x is equal to y divided by 2. So we found a relation between x and y. Now we will find out a relation between uh, y and z by solving the two equations 2 and 3 we can uh, find out the relation between y and z. If you multiply equation 3 with 2 and you add equation 2 and 3, I have taken, I have taken the multiplication of 2 in this equation 3. This is equal to 4z plus 4 plus 4 lambda z and this is equation 2 and if you add these two equations, uh, 2 and 3, then 4 will cancel. So you have 2 into y plus 2z. Here you have taking 2z common from this 2. 
this will be equal to 2 lambda taking common in the bracket you have y plus 2z so you take common y plus 2z so 2 plus 2 lambda will be into y plus 2z will be equal to 0 so if y plus 2z will be equal to 0 then z will be equal to minus y y 2 so we have two values or two equations relating x and y and y and z and now you uh, put this uh, value of x and put the value of z in the um, constraint equation in the constraint equation we have x square plus y square plus z square is equal to 24 this is the constraint equation given so you put the value of x we have found out the value of x equal to minus y by 2 so x square will be equal to y square by uh, y square by 4 then y square and plus z square z value have find out minus y by 2 so z square will be equal to uh, y square by 4 that will be equal to uh, that will be equal to 24 that will be equal to 24 so if you solve it for y then y will be equal to plus minus 4 so if y equal to plus 4 then x will be equal to plus 2 and z will be equal to minus 2 and if you take y equal to minus 4 then x will be equal to minus 2 and z will be equal to plus 2. So if you put in the equation distance equation and d square is equal to x square plus y square plus z square minus 2x minus 4y plus 4j, 2z plus 6 if you put these values x equal to 2 then x square will be equal to 4 if uh, y equal to 4 so y square will be 16 z is equal to minus 2 so z square is equal to uh, 4 similarly you put the value of x y z here so that the value of d square will be equal to 6 so d will be equal to square root of 6 and if you put the value of x equal to minus 2 y equal to minus 4 and z is equal to plus 2 then you will get d square will be equal to uh, 54 so d will be equal to 3 root 6 so this is the shortest distance and this is the longest distance so by using constraint optimization um, by lagrange multiplier we we can easily find out the shortest and longest distance from any, from any point to a given equation and uh, here we have found out from the point 1 to minus 1 to the given equation x square plus y square plus z square is equal to 24.